Greetings, friends. Here it is, March 17th. The first full day when Philadelphia is in lockdown, um, or uh, all non-essential businesses are closed. And uh, we've just here in New Jersey had our first night of a curfew from 8 p.m. till 5 a.m. in light of the coronavirus. So things are different. There's a situation where we've never uh, encountered before. And uh, some are filled with fear and anxiety. Some are filled with some relief. There's a lot of things happening and I recognize that for sure. We here at Prince of Peace recognize that we are created to be in community, created in community to be in community. And we also are keenly aware, especially during this time of Lent, that times of being apart is also a very impart, important part of our struggle, of our journey, of our um, depth into life. And so may this time of being apart, of physical distancing, be a time of Sabbath, be a time of rest, if you're able. We recognize that people have varieties of concerns, especially financial ones and life ones. But in that you're required to, to lay low, know that you can still take walks and do that kind of thing, but to use it as a time to rest, also as a time to nourish yourself, to take care of yourself. In fact, Christian monasticism has been about this for centuries, taking time. And so there's a couple things that they've taught us that can be helpful for us during this time. One, those who live uh, apart from others in monastic communities have always worked with a schedule, a certain time to get up, a certain time to eat, a certain time to study, to work, to pray. I think that is especially helpful for us at this time. So I invite you to keep a schedule or to make a schedule, especially those of you with children. We know that uh, all of us work best with schedules and children especially. So print up a schedule and post it on the fridge and uh, work with that. It's also uh, another thing that the monastic communities have told us it's important to um, take time to be intentional. To whatever you're doing, put your intention behind it. Stay focused in the present moment with your work, if you're working, with your cooking, when you're cooking, with your eating, when you're eating. Be sure to spend time specifically um, really being present and present with love. The other thing, the third thing that monastic communities remind us that's especially help when in a time apart is taking some time for self-reflection. So in this case, it would include, you know, not being bombarded with sound all the time. Turn off the TV. Stop looking at social media. Not the whole time, but for a period of time every day. That is just going to be you and not all the other stuff and whoever you're living with. And so use the time to write or pray or journal, or to use the time to reach out to others. But some self-reflection, some time to be still and to focus on what's important. I'm sure most of us, the weeks prior to this, were like, oh, I could just so use a break. Guess what? We have it. <laughs> so, but we also understand that it's difficult um, being isolated from others. Um, so we don't necessarily have to be, we may be physically isolated, we do not have to be socially isolated. So there's lots of things to do to be able to connect 
with one another. And so we are going to help uh, make sure that that happens as well. So we're going to provide resources for you uh, to help nourish your time when you are alone and self-reflective. And so we'll give you some help and some things there to do. We'll also provide some opportunities for how we might stay connected and not be isolated socially. You know, it's interesting. Uh, many of you are concerned about not gathering for worship. And just this past Sunday in our text, with the, with the Samaritan woman at the well, we have this wonderful phrase by Jesus. Yet the hour is coming and is already here when real worshipers will worship Abba God in spirit and truth. Indeed, it is such worshipers whom Abba God seeks. God is spirit, and those who worship God must worship God in spirit and truth. And so, whenever worship takes place, it can take place wherever you are, wherever you are connected in spirit. And that Jesus says earlier on in the gospel, the water I give you will become fountains within you, springing up to provide eternal life. And so God provides that living water which will spring up to provide us with eternal life and to provide us with life now. So know that worshiping is done in community, but can be done in community when we are not physically present with one another. So we're going to provide some opportunities on how to do that. So each week, uh, you will receive a special email from Prince of Peace three times. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This week, you'll get one on Tuesday. And in that, you'll have a video message from me. And then there'll be a variety of information about how you can stay connected with others. Uh, and uh, one of those ways will be uh, using a platform called Zoom. And it's a simple platform that you can use via a computer, via a smartphone with a Zoom app, or just a regular telephone. All three of those are, you can link in, call in, and be connected in a conference type platform to talk with one another and to share with one another. And so we'll have some opportunities when we can do that. So uh, in Friday's newsletter, special edition that will be coming out, we will share with you um, links to some conference rooms, Zoom rooms, where we can uh, discuss the sermon. So in Friday's special edition, you will have a video of my Sunday sermon. And then uh, during our regular times of worship gathering, you will see on the schedule in the email uh, a link that you can go to to be able to gather virtually online in Zoom uh, to have a conversation about the sermon. We will also uh, present uh, to you on Wednesday uh, my midweek Lenten reflection, Practices of the Heart. And so uh, tomorrow, this week, we will work with the Practices of the Heart um, and working with fear. And so I thought that would be an appropriate uh, topic uh, this, for this time and what's going on. Also, uh, I wanted to say that in each email that you get Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there'll be um, various ways that you can gather in community and support one another uh, in different ways without gathering physically as well as there'll be a list of ways of how you can help and assist one another. So friends, there we are. Um, I invite you to especially remain connected with yourself in time of quiet and prayer, with others through text messages and phone calls and emails or cards, and uh, to reach out with some of the methods that we're going to provide you as well. So I'd like us to close with a prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, 
Amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of fear, danger, and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation and nations around the world with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Thanks, friends. Until tomorrow, be safe.